Hello, here's the video of the new Robland NX410 Pro, which is the combination machine. Uh, this machine is in single phase, available in three phase, but this one is single phase. Um, so it's a three function machine. We've got here the sliding table. This machine here will do 2.5 meters in front of the scribing blade. So it's nice for panel work. Um, here you'll see, there's no blade on currently, but here you'll see the main blade and the scribing blade there as well. Um, on the sliding table side, we have got a mitre fence, which is here. Uh, it all comes to standard plus and minus 45 this way for doing smaller sections. Um, for paddle work, you've got this rather nice crosscut carriage with crosscut stops. And these are extendable as well. So for paddle work, you'll be using the sliding table this side here. Okay, if I then go on to, obviously with a combination, you go from one section to another. So that's the panel saw. Um, the spindle molder is here, um, which is just a, a simple adjustment backwards and forwards. Um, currently, I think the spindle molder is lower, so it's not up at the moment. Uh, this is the fence assembly here. So it's all heavy duty cast iron. Uh, there's an option to put a power feed on if you need to. Um, the rise and fall of the spindle molder is done here with a digital readout, so that's very useful for doing repeat work. Um, here we have the speeds, so we've got a multi-speed machine here, running at five, uh, one, two, three, four speeds. That's very useful. Um, and then we come around to the planer side. So this planer here is 410 wide, and I'll show you in a second, has the spiral block. Uh, what I'll do, I'll get my colleague to come and hold the phone for me because I'm going to have to show you this in the thicknessing mode. At the moment, this is set for surface planing. So we're surfacing along here, and then when we're in the thicknessing, we need to make some alterations. So let's pass that to table one. We're just going to move this out. So if we're doing thicknessing, what we need to do is remove this fence. And then we've got the rick fence here which is going to be used on the sliding table. This also comes off, everything is quick release. So you can take it off and go back to the same position. So just move this one out of the way. We have two handles here, quick release, again for the rip fence. So when you put the rip fence back on, you're going back to square again, you're not having to adjust it. And then going to thickness in. The nice thing about this machine is that these tables fold inwards. So if you look at this, just ignore that at the moment, that's only for transport. That should be bolted on actually. Uh, but for transport, it's tucked out of the way. It's a brand new machine, just been unpacked. So in here, you see the big cast iron tables here, very deep casting, which makes everything nice and flat, which you need for servicing. Um, I'm gonna open this side up as well. And then we can show you how the fitness works. The idea of them folding inwards is to save space in the workshop. So here we go, this is a spiral block, which is one of the options here. Uh, steel in feed, steel out feed, and your thickness from this side, the extraction can pulls over. And then we want to select height of material. If you come around here, you'll see we've got the readout here, which is a digital, and there are obviously a secondary readout here. So that's the machine really overall, so a very quick overview, but hopefully you get an idea of the build quality of these machines. Um, so they are industrial machine built to last. So yeah, that's it in its thickest position. So let us know what you think and uh, we'll see what we can do.